In today's business environment, email is a critical communication resource and various kinds of information is exchanged by using email and in some cases, business critical information may leak out of a company in an unprotected email. To prevent this, Microsoft has implemented data loss protection policies in Exchange Server 2013. The primary purpose of these policies is to enforce compliance requirements for business critical data and manage its use in email without hindering the productivity of workers and for example we can configure a policy to prevent sending data such as credit card numbers, social security numbers and IP addresses in email messages. Uh, just one thing to note here as well is that data loss prevention is a premium feature and it will require an enterprise client access license. So let's create a data loss prevention policy. That's right, so what we'll do, click on our data loss prevention and then what we'll do is we'll create a new policy. All right, so we'll click on our plus, and what we'll do here is we'll create a new custom DLP policy, but as you can see, I can do one from a template, or import one, let's go with a custom one. Uh, what we'll do in this one here is we'll call this one uh, IP address block. We won't bother with the description, but we will choose to enforce this rule. Right, now we've done that, we'll just select save. And once it's saved off, the next thing to do is to actually edit the rule. So we'll click on our edit button. Now what we now want to start doing here is setting up our rules. All right, so we'll select rules. And then what we'll do here is we need to configure our rules. So what we'll do here is we'll just click on our plus. And what we want to do here is we want to block messages with sensitive information. But as you can see, we can do it send to outside organization unless the sender overrides or unless the sender overrides with a business justification. We want to block it. Right, so what we need to do now is just fill out our rule table. So what we've done here is we're doing this as center scope inside the organization. So we've got inside the organization. Select the sensitive information type. So we'll just click on our little drop down here. And then we'll click plus. And what we'll have a look at here is we'll just scroll down a bit. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff that we can block. But I'm going to go for IP address and select add and then select OK and then click OK again. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to generate an incident report and send it to and we shall select administrator and select OK. And then what we'll also do as well is include the message properties and what we'll do here is we'll select sender, we'll specify recipients We'll do subject and what we'll also do as well is we'll just have a look down here and we'll also select matching content. We'll then select OK at this point here and then what we want to do here is we want to block the message. So what we'll do here is we will um, block the message. So yep, we'll definitely block the message. And then what we'll do here is we'll enter the message for the non-delivery report. And I'm going to say we blocked your message due to the corporate IT policy. And we'll click OK at that point there. All right, we'll scroll down a little bit. We're not going to add any exceptions. Uh, we will audit the rule with um, hi. Uh, we will enforce the rule. And we will activate the rule today. We won't bother deactivating the rule. And we'll leave everything else as default. We'll then save this off. Right, so that's all done. So we just save this off as well. And we have now created our DLP policy. So the next thing to do here is just test this rule. So what we'll do is we'll just go to our client machine and send an email. Alright, so here we are. So let's just create a new mail. So we'll do a new mail. We'll send it to Amra again. And uh, what we'll do here is we'll just do IP address. And um, we'll just put in some text here, the IP address of the server is, and then we'll just put in the IP address of the server as uh, 172.16.0.1, and let's just send that message off. And um, what we wait for is we wait for the bounce back to tell us that we're violating the IT policy. And there you go. So again, undeliverable and the reason why we have blocked your message due to the corporate IT policy. And that's the end of this demonstration of DLP policies. Thanks very much.